Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is my very first video of 2022. Happy New Year, even though it's like 10 days too late, you know, uh, better late than never, I guess. But this also marks the last time I'm probably ever gonna film a POV with the Sony a7R4. Since filming this POV, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've sold the camera and I've bought the Sony a7 IV, which will hopefully be arriving in a few weeks time. And I'm gonna be making a lot of content with that camera, with photography and video. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release a new video. So I decided for the last POV with the R4 to take it out of my favorite prime lens, the Sigma 85 f 1.4 and all the photography you're going to see in today's video has been edited in my preset pack where you'll find 143 presets for only 15 pound link is in the description below but with all that said and done let's just jump straight into today's pov boom all right this is where we are starting today's pov i'm going to get a photo of this guy right here great one to get off right there then i like this shot right here we've got some layering with the building so i'm going to capture that bump up the aperture quite high and then bring down the shutter speed I'm about f10 here and that's nicely composed shot i want to try and move a little bit here so i'm not getting that lamp post thing in there kind of liking that i might be able to remove it in photoshop but i want to try and vo avoid doing that pardon take a video yeah video as well mate oh, what was your name stefan stefan nice yeah, to meet you stefan nice can i get a photo of you huh? can i get a photo of you you want to. Can you stand about here? You're getting a proper photo shoot here. Yeah. <laughs> Better light right there. If you do what you did in there, that looks it. I'll get a nice cool low angle here. How about that? That's great. Yeah, that's good. I like that one. That's good. I'll send him over. See you later. Take care, mate. <laughs> Awesome meeting other people out and about in Leeds. I've got some photos of that guy right there. Real nice guy. He was asking me about some business stuff and everything and how to grow. He wants to do some certain things and I give him some tips and tricks and hopefully it will help him out. So uh, great to talk to him. And that's a cool photograph right there as well. Also, I just noticed this here. Look at that. Oh, I'm liking that. Just very subtle light on those chairs over there nothing too spectacular but it's it's all right that i like that a bit of a vintage kind of vibe kind of like my apartment i love it all right so it might be a bit windy here but i'm liking this shot right here just focusing on the building there actually if i get a bit closer i can get a better shot of that i've got these people right here so i'm gonna wait for them shoot get it ready so shoot at f10 get my exposure ready bump put the iso a bit if i can get them right there that would be here we go that's a real nice frame. I'm gonna now jump into the middle of the road and do it again, but from that perspective. I think I preferred the first one, but you know what? <laughs> that looks really cool. I'm gonna get a photo of this guy on his bike. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, got it. Like the framing on that shot, yes, that's brilliant. So I've just noticed this uh, traffic light right here. Nothing special about the subject, but I can like the background behind it. So, Whilst I'm waiting for it to go to green, I'm going to go to f2.2 and then I'm going to get it correctly exposed. I'm also facing away from it because of the wind. So, look at that. That looks really cool. Okay, right there, I am really vibing them shots. Now, if people are confused why I'm walking backwards, it is so you can hear me because of the terrible wind. Right, see if we can get some of it here. Very quickly get this shot. That's it, right? We actually got to it right there. That looks pretty cool. Did we get them in focus? That is the main question right there. Oh, we did. Oh, that looks really cool. I've never been down this street before. And I'm wondering, what can we get of that all the way at the bottom? Now, we are going to probably have to be all the way at the bottom with the 85 mil. But I'm going to come back here. I've never been down this street before. What the fuck? This is sick. Now, the green bin is a bit of a distraction. And I don't want that in my shot. Right, stay. What I'm doing at the moment is putting the council out of a job. On the GoPro, this must seem like a million miles away, but with the 85 mil, I can only just get the path and the top in. I can't, I tried to move that bin there, but I can't. It's got so much rubbish in it that I literally can't move it. So hopefully next time I come down, there won't be any bins here. But I'm gonna then bring down the shutter speed. Bring up the, uh, the ISO a little bit to 250. Drop the shutter speed again so it's a bit faster. And now I've got a person right at the bottom there, so I'm going to start shooting. 
and hopefully that has got a few really cool photographs right there. I'm loving this. Look at that building. All right, we've got a pocket of light right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a couple of subjects, switch the focusing mode to a wide, so it will focus and track the subject, and that will hopefully get the shot we're looking for. Composition is good. The uh, shutter speed is good, and the f-stop, I'm going to take that up to f2. Okay, I think I got that, and I've got another couple there, and I might have just missed them, but hopefully one of those shots worked how we wanted it to that one right there oh yeah that is it that is the one we wanted right there all right i just noticed this neon sign here that is speaking the truth um so i'm just going to focus it right there we've also got some exposure happening with the tables here as well so i'm going to bring down the shot speed a bit f2 look at that that's kind of cool <laughs> shit happens so we've got this uh, couple walking here. I'm just going to try and compose, compose the shot right here. And we'll do one more with this. And face focus picked up as well. Not the best composition through the window. I'm going to go into the crop mode if I can. Get him right there. Meaning right. Thanks, mate. That's a kind of cool shot. I like that with the uh, framing between as well. That's nice. Right, let's see if we can get a photo of this guy here. Nice. Like the framing right there on that shot. And I can bring down the exposure a bit in post. That was just a quick fire one. And then we got this old couple coming across right now. I'm going to go into the prop mode, get them right there. I like that. Oh, that is a good shot. That one right there. People on Vella, we have to get it. And I'm in the crop mode, I'm all wrong. shot right there nice had to do it you always have to get a photo of someone's carrying an umbrella you always have to it's a rule of life with photography yeah the composition wasn't the best yeah the framing weren't the best it was a little bit rushed but it's something so you can get a photo of this guy the bus driver i like how he's lit right there he gave me the wave yeah that looks pretty cool god he's really he's really thinking there He's got something very serious on his mind, it looks like. Either that or he's just bored of driving buses. Hopefully his, uh, his day improves a bit. Like that. That's a very kind, nice, lovely, warming photo right there. Oh, this is a good spot to just grab people. Look at that. Oh, and the taxi's gone, so let's get that shot very quickly. Yes, got it. Right, we've got a bus coming here, so I'm going to keep it 85 mil F14. Kind of funny that the bus number is 14. Don't pull in, don't pull in. That's it, lad. Ignore all the passengers, just concentrate on me. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Gave me the flash of the headlights as well. What a, what a guy. <laughs> all right, so you see this pocket of light right here? I'm going to try and bag ourselves a shot. Right, quickly, quickly, guy. Come on, don't let that woman get in your shot. Yes. Okay, that looks pretty good. I can bring down the exposure a bit in that shot and then uh, get the shot we want. This composition at night will just be intense. I would like that beamer to move if possible. So we're still waiting for that beamer to move. Hey, Pigeon, dude, can I get a photo? I'm waiting for this, so can I just get your... Cheers. Pigeon, what's your name? Mark? Hey, Mark. Cheers, Mark. Bye, Mark. That was Mark, everyone. Whilst we're waiting, actually, why don't we see if we can do any panning? It might be a bit difficult with the 85, but we've got time. Oh, look at this yellow Peugeot. Let's get this. Please say we got that. Jeep right there. We've got a few... Oh, that Jeep shot! <laughs> that Jeep shot is insane! No way did I just get that, that is sick. Oh my God, that might be one of the, my favorite padding shots I've done, well, definitely this year. We've got a blue beetle. Please tell me that's going in that lane over there. I want that. If I can get that. Might have got some it there. I think we did, I think we got some it right there. Look at Herbie. Both of those Ubers, I think, are about to leave, finally. 
Come on, go on. Yes, right now, just get the shot. Bring up the f-stop. I'm going to bring it to around f10. Um, I'm going to drop it. The shot speed to about 100 for a second. Getting that shot right there. Quickly shoot it in. Portrait before the buses arrive. And we got a couple of cool shots of that right there. That is what I've wanted to achieve, and I think I have been able to achieve it. Simple shot right here of this f1.4 aperture. Nice. Right, for this shot, what I'm waiting for is this guy keeps poking his head out to look for buses, and I want to try and get a photo of him as he just peeks out. There we go, we got it. <laughs> I love it. Ha. We got the shot right there. That is a great shot. Look at that. Oh, and just how sharp it is. This 85 is just insane. Nice. I wonder if I can get a photo of those cranes all the way over there. Go into the prop mode and uh, bring down the shutter speed. Bump up the F stop. Just like that. I will do a separate sunset POV when there is a sunset. What about this? Look at this, just a simple shot of this uh, lamppost right here. Bring up the shutter speed, drop the ISO to 50. Bring the shutter speed down a bit more. There you go, what do you think? It's kind of a simple but nice frame. I need to think of more exaggerated words and things for um, this next year that's sick that's awesome rob that's amazing there we go just i can clip them in at certain points of the video now okay so that's the city center done today so we're gonna head to a couple of more locations um i'm not covering all the areas of leeds today well i'm trying not to uh because again i'm going to be doing a lot more povs around here so i want to make sure i save locations for different times of day and everything like that <laughs> I have no idea what's going on there, but he's just taking traffic cones. He's like, these will do for my apartment, a lovely decor. <laughs> so, Leeds City Council, if you've got a couple of traffic cones going missing, they've gone over there. <laughs> We've got this shot right here of these buildings. What I'm going to do, bring up the F-stop again, bring down the shutter speed, leave it about there. Decent frame. Just spotted a really cool frame here that I've had to get. If possible again. Brilliant. Well, he gave me the thumbs up, so he liked it. I like the way that was a silent communication just through a window. This is a location I come to quite often, and it's also a great location for car photography because this is like three o'clock on a bank holiday and look how quiet it is up here you know if you get a car up here a beamer whatever this is a place i want to come and do some uh, car photography and look at this look at this sunset view i don't know what we can get with the 85 but uh, let's just rock up the aperture quite high i'm going to focus on those buildings over there and i like the rays of sun we're getting like look at that okay that's sick i'll take that Oh, before we leave, I've just seen this frame right here. Oh, that looks really good. Bring up the f-stop on that, f9, bring down the shutter speed, and drop the ISO to ISO 100, so I have the cleanest image. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Whoever designed those buildings did a good job, because that looks, that looks really nice to the eye. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. What about this one? Yes, and another one. Oh yes, all three of them should be really good. So we are pretty much back um, where we started uh, earlier today. So I'm now going to head back and have a look through the hashtag CP photos, see what you guys are creating, and then we'll uh, draw today's video to a conclusion. The first POV of many of 2022. Let's have it. All right, let's just jump straight into the hashtag for the first time this year, starting with uh, this photograph right here by 
keep POV visuals and with in collaboration with Shooter Unknown, that's a really cool edit and really cool concept right there. This is a real nice shot of this Audi R8 by 55 degree north. That is super cool and the headlights look so cool. The composition, the leading line, that is a great shot. Uh, I like this one of his Lambo by, by Bad Stevenson. That's really nice. Love it. This is a cool street shot. This black and white one by Alex. That's really nice. I love that right there. Uh, this one right here is a really cool one by Seventh Verse. I love that uh, drone shot. It's got to be right there. Um, let's scroll down. This is a nice shot. Wildlife photography by A.W. Harrison's Photos. Um, really like the whole shot, but one thing I will suggest is I don't think you need a watermark on your photographs. Um, that's just my personal opinion, um, but yeah, each to their own. Uh, so this is a cool uh, long exposure shot here by J. Brad. I like that right there. Ooh, like that one. Nice color grading on that one by Steven. Um, we'll scroll down a little bit more so we get to have a look what other people have been creating because I haven't actually looked for the hashtag in a while. Uh, so we'll have a look at this one here by Robo Racer. That is an amazing shot. What a cityscape view. And uh, let's have a look at a few more. There's so many. This is a nice sunset one uh, by LJC.jpg. Uh, um, oh, look at this one of a Bugatti by OCM underscore media. That is, well, it's an amazing car. Is that, which one is that? Is that the Chiron? <sighs> what a beast. And a real nice photograph. I love all the fairy lights going on above as well. Really cool. And um, we'll have a look at one more. And I'm going to choose this black and white one right here by WG Photography. That is a lovely shot right there. A massive thank you again to everyone continuing to use the hashtag CP photos. Can we get it to 40,000? No, 50,000 posts this year. Ambitious goal, but you know what? Let's be ambitious. We don't get it. We don't get it. If we do, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I think this year is about taking it to that next level. So let's go. 50,000 posts on the hashtag by the end of 2022. And it's always great seeing other people's work, seeing other people's progress, being able to share that back right here as well. So again, just a massive thank you. And if you did like today's video as well, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, turn on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release a new video. But yeah, I'm super excited for 2022, making great content. But yeah, until next time, guys, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. I need to figure out a better slogan this year as well. I don't know what, but I need to figure something out.